Well, the start of the school year for inland schools was a mixed blessing for learners. For some, it was elation and certainty, and for others, anxiety and uncertainty, as placements were not finalised and some schools didn't have water and couldn't open at all. The SABC has been keeping an eye on the national picture, and this hour we take a look at how it's been going here in Gauteng, in the northwest, and in Pumalanga. The Education MEC for Gauteng, Matome Chilwane, and uh, Lucy Moyani, the Pumalanga Education Head of Department, joins me now. Hopefully we'll be joined by the MEC from the Northwest Education Department shortly. Good evening and thank you very much for your time this evening. I think to start, why don't we share a status update on how things went overall and we begin with the Gauteng MEC Chilwane. Well, thank you. Good evening. Well, almost evening uh, to you and your viewers. Um, uh, today went, uh, went quite well. The uh, majority of our schools uh, opened on time, learning and teaching, room, teaching resumed on time, albeit one or two incidences uh, were, of, of course, related to placement. Um, but however, the, the day went quite well. We even uh, opened a new school as we had indicated in Swane. Uh, so, so we are quite happy with how uh, things have, pro have pro progressed today. And we're confident that uh, from from now on it's uh, smooth sailing. HD Moyani, thank you. Good evening to yourself and good evening to your viewers. Indeed, uh, the first day of schooling was a successful one for us. Um, we had fewer challenges, and uh, we believe that we will be able to sort out and resolve on the outstanding challenges, particularly those resulting on. Um, uh, relating to admission very soon. 10 days is a key date for us and we believe we'll be done with that by then. So I want to go to this issue both of you have alluded to. MEC Chilwani, maybe we kick off with you. More than 1,300 learners not placed here in Gauteng. Why has that happened? And I think for the sake of parents, when is this, by when will this be resolved and their kids will be in school? Yeah, we had uh, communicated that the, f the final day will be the 30th of January. However, we are placing learners every day. Um, uh, so we are anticipating, well, I'm anticipating that before then, way before the 30th of January, we have placed all learners into schools. The only thing that needs to happen also is that parents need to work with us in terms of accepting some of the placements that they've been offered because majority of some of these parents are not accepting schools because of the certain choice they would have preferred. Uh, and, uh, and they're insisting that they want those set schools. Yeah, uh, and not understanding obviously that the school has its own capacity. And once it reaches capacity, there's this capacity. There's really not anything much we could do. So that's, that's what we're appealing. However, in terms of placement, we are closing the number very quickly. We we're going to have a roll call now in the evening. I've got, there's a meeting. I'll then be able to give you updated numbers. But now they are far less. They are below 1,000 uh, currently to place. Uh, but I'll get the actual figure much uh, later on to this evening. Yeah, and, and you are more than welcome, of course, to contact our, our, our producers as well and share the latest information. I'm going to circle back to this issue of placements in a moment, but I want to turn to you, HOD Moyani. Same story there where you are, but in your case, double that number of unplaced learners in Pumalanga, especially in places like Secunda. Um, what are you planning to do about it? It's true. We do have uh, particularly our fast growing towns where we have huge numbers. But we have established our district admission teams that are looking at all the wait lists, the waiting lists from all the schools. And these uh, learners are being placed. And as MEC Houting has said, uh, we are identifying spaces uh, in schools that have idling capacity and we're referring uh, learners to those uh, particular schools. But indeed, we also face a challenge because parents have particular preferences, but their preferences would not be where the spaces are. But we also have parents that would leave schools that have abandoned capacity where they stay 
and want to be in a particular school which is already full in its capacity. But we are addressing these matters. We, on a daily basis, having teams on the ground to ensure that by the 10th day, we should have uh, placed all the learners. In Bombela, for instance, we were building 40 classrooms. We are confident today 18 of those have been um, started to be utilized. We are providing mobile classrooms. As in Pumalanga, we actually have procured 152 mobile classrooms so that we can provide these additional classrooms to schools that are battling with capacity. So just but to confirm, said, you're giving us um, a guarantee then that by the end of the month, north of 3,500 learners will be in a classroom. We, we're not at that number anymore. It's drastically reduced, but definitely all the learners would have been placed. I, I want to go back to the issue around placements, and this is an annual problem um, for parents, just in trying to understand what the criteria is for the placements. And, you know, you, you were talking there, uh, MEC Chilwane, about parents not accepting where their kids have been placed. Often, you know, going to those schools might be onerous, it might be out of their way. At least this is what we're hearing when parents weigh in on radio stations and, and so on. So maybe just take us back to the criteria. And if parents really find that it will be burdensome for them to go where their kids are now being placed, what recourse do they have? MEC? Okay, um, look, as for placement, especially using our online system, there are four uh, key uh, determining factors on how we place. Uh, um, the first one is the home address, the second one is the, is the work address, the third one is the sibling, and then we're looking at 30 kilometers radius, and, and our, the fifth one is 30 kilometers beyond. Um, now, most parents, uh, they do apply. Uh, I will not say that some most didn't, didn't apply. Time. They did apply. Um, the system the system is effective. It's able to take 40,000 application, applications per minute. So it, it could, in five minutes, we could have uh, finished the whole province uh, registration, which is uh, about 300,000 plus or so. So, so now, as a recourse, they are able to, to object and appeal. And, and the understanding is that obviously as they object, they need to provide a, a fundamental reasons as to why they are objecting to a, a set placement. And, and, we, and some of the objections and appeals have been upheld. Um, I've, I've received 4,800. I was able to upheld almost 300 of them because the rationale that when you read them, you really pick up, pick up that there was a system error, there was an administrative error from the department, and therefore the, the parents have a right to appeal this placement, and they're and they correct to, to insist on going on to a, a, a certain schools. All right. Uh, correct. So, All right. Well, hmm. it's good to hear then that parents do have some recourse and, and, and that the department is listening to, um, to parents, and I would encourage them, of course, on, on our platform to go and exhaust those opportunities. Let's move then to the resources that it takes to have a, a smoothly functioning school year. And uh, maybe, HOD, we can start with you. Have all the learner support materials been delivered, and do you have all your teacher placements filled? Um, as, a, as a province, yes, we have all the stationery that we have uh, ordered, all of it uh, delivered. And I must indicate here that uh, the stationery packs that we are providing are a different pack from last year. And we have ensured that it covers the whole curriculum uh, that, and the subject that the learners are, are, are doing. And as such, we're not expecting schools to request uh, parents to, to, to provide additional material. But we also have delivered the workbooks and we have delivered also the, the textbooks. As a sector, we do have a, a, a timetable that all of us have to uh, stick to. And the delivery date had to be in November and utilizing the two weeks in December as a mop up. Indeed, as Mpumalang, we have done that. We've been able to also uh, um, appoint our teachers and we're able to translate about 284 temporary educators into permanent educators. So indeed we are, we have provided the necessary resources that schools require. Those ones that need meals, we have actually made sure that the meals mm. are provided. There were 
six schools which are our boarding schools where there's been some delay but i can confirm that as of today the food uh, has been delivered into those boarding schools all right well thanks to that it sounds like a smooth a smoother picture there um mec chawane just let us know what the picture is for gauteng on the learner supply materials and the teacher vacancies as well very quickly okay no no thank you uh we we were done by the 30th of uh, november uh, there was only three schools that had requested that the materials come because of uh, vandalism and theft. They requested that the, the material be delivered a day or two before the commencement of the school year, and that was also done. So on that part, we, 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 we were ready because we, we began by June, uh, end of June. So by the 30th, we were done. Right. As for school furniture, we also were, were ahead. And the warehouse we got sufficient capacity even for those late applications that we are getting you know got sufficient capacity to ensure that by the time we conclude this process we're able to provide uh, school furniture for those learners all right so the picture there in Mpumalanga and Gauteng thank you very much to you MEC and to you HOD mm -hmm. we'll keep tabs mm -hmm. on developments on those problem areas please do continue to send our news desk information as it comes to hand